today is the final one of week 15 and it comes with a major headline in the midst of eight consecutive matches without a win Everton's director of football Marcel Brand stepped down last night as for manager Rafa Benitez who has only been on the job five months the club said in a statement they will continue to back him with their full support meanwhile Arsenal have hit a tough patch in what has been an otherwise successful season their loss Thursday at Manchester United was their second in the last three matches but in the eight prior they didn't lose once so a win today would vault them into fifth in the table this past weekend started with West Ham's incredible victory against Chelsea, which opened the door for both Liverpool and Man City to jump above Chelsea with their wins. Yesterday, the strong starts continued for Antonio Conte at Tottenham and for Steven Gerrard at Villa, both leading their new club to three more points. On the call today at Goodison Park will be Martin Tyler and Stephen Warnock. And guys, as you know very well, really Everton handed us the headline for this game last night with the resignation of Marcel Brands. Well, I'm not sure it was resignation. I think he was probably asked to leave and uh, he has gone. Is that going to solve their problems? Is it going to make it a happier Goodison Park for the fans? Or we're hearing about protests to come. You, you know this part of the world. Tell us what you think. I, I think, well, uh, the departure of Marcel Brands is a positive for the club. Um, I think accountability is the biggest thing at a football club. And who is accountable for the decisions now that he's left? It's left to Rafa Benitez. Rafa Benitez then has the say on what goes on. Then you've got a, you've got someone to go back to then to make those decisions. And if the decisions aren't right, the book stops with Rafa Benitez. And I think that's important for the fans to know that as well. But there is talk of this walkout. 27 years since the last trophy, yeah. 27th minute. There will be supposedly an exit from the ground. If they're leading the game, I'm not sure that's going to happen. <laughs> but if they're losing, what do you expect? I expect them to walk out. I still expect them to, to form the protest. I still expect yeah. them to carry it through. I think it's a, a signal to the owners of what they're feeling about their club, what needs to be put right. I think uh, Farah Mashuri has tried to answer that earlier than the protest happens by dismissing Marcel Brands and relieving him of, of his duties. Um, but is it enough to really affect the board? I'm not so sure it is. Is it just a case of they've signed the wrong players? Absolutely. I mean, it, when you look at Marcel Brands and what he's spent, I think it's £267 million uh, pounds since he's come into the club. It's an awful lot of money. What value has he added to that squad? What is the resale value of players? Is there real value within the squad? I'm not so sure there is. So. It's not been well received by the Everton fans and if you were to sell a player now, would you actually make money on them? At the end of the day, it's a business for Farad Mashuri. Well, we must talk about Arsenal, yep. who uh, Everton have gone eight games without a win. Arsenal were unbeaten for eight and then they've lost at Liverpool, just across the park here, and lost at Manchester United. So um, how do you see them? If they win, they go fifth, I think. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a, been a funny season for Arsenal. Uh, started really poorly, then they found that rhythm, they found clean sheets, which was hard to come by. They, they looked like they had a nice balance. They've lost that in the last couple of games, um, really suffered a confidence dip after the Liverpool game. That was a huge loss for them. We wondered where they'd be at after Liverpool, and we suddenly found out they're still a, way, a, a big way away from where they need to be um, there's goals in the team but the big problem has always been that solidity at the back they'll come here they'll be confident they can get goals against this Everton team who are also weak at the back as well we'll see for the moment back to you Paul all right guys do your best to stay warm and dry there look now at the top half of the table where you'll find Arsenal sitting in seventh a win will move them back above Manchester United and Tottenham and into fifth that would put them just one point outside the Champions League places an amazing possibility after the Gunners sat rock bottom after losing their opening three games as for their opponent today Everton's poor form includes losing each of their last three games which has dropped them to 16th just five points above the relegation zone many supporters are calling for Rafa Benitez's job as as we've mentioned, one person out of a job at Everton, former director of football Marcel Brands, who officially stepped down yesterday. Brands joined the club back in June of 2018. This is a summary of the major acquisitions on his watch. Lots of information, but the bottom line, the club spent over $370 million in transfers in his three and a half years, but haven't finished higher than eighth in the Premier League during his tenure. In a statement last night, Brands said, quote, the board and I agreed that there is a clear difference in the vision and direction for this beautiful club.
With that, we welcome you to Premier League Live. Thanks for being with us. Paul Burmeister alongside Danny Higginbotham and Tim Howard. Tim, your mm. 10 years playing at Everton certainly mm. comes into play here today. I want to go back to that part of the quote that really stood out to me, saying that there was a clear difference in the vision and direction for this club. Mm. Where did your mind go when you saw that? Well, uh, my my initial thought is that Marcel Brand's hands were tied. I think his I think his toes are getting stepped on. It keeping all the blame on him. We saw the graphic there about the players that he signed. Well, guess what? The owner has chopped and changed the manager four and five times. The director of football's job is to, is to get with the manager and say, what, what players do you want? What system do you want? That's what Marcel Brand's done. He's done a really good job. He's dealt with four managers. He's, go, he's gone and got the players that those managers wanted, and now that all falls on his shoulders that he signed all those players that didn't work out. No, no. He's had, to, he's had to deal with four and five different managers. And so the issue becomes he, he's a scapegoat. Because the owner, who's fine, he's allowed to, he owns the club, he can do what he wants. He wants to wear two hats, he wants to be involved in player recruitment. The manager, Rafa Benitez, wants to have the player recruitment on his, on his shoulders as well because he wants to make sure that he fails, it's with his own players. So basically, Marcel Brand's only job was to recruit players, and he's got two people above him and below him wanting to do the same job. So he had to step away or he got fired. Listen, he'll be better off out, out, outside of Everton Football Club because the system is broken. And I'm not sure I believe... Everton, when they say we, we give Rafa Benitez our full support, because the fact of the matter is the board at Everton Football Club is split on Rafa Benitez, and it should be. He's in the Premier League. He, he, he manages Everton Football Club. They haven't won in eight games. There should be pressure on him. They just got thrashed by Liverpool in the Merseyside Derby and then Arsenal today. He should be under pressure, and I don't necessarily believe that they fully back him. No, I, I agree with what Tim's saying. I think if you go back to David Moyes, so you include David Moyes in the managerial scenario that they've had over the last eight years. Eight different managers. So therefore, we're seeing a lot of money being spent. That's different managers wanting different plays that suit the different styles of the different managers. Now, when I look at Brands, I look at him... I think he's been undermined for a long time now. Marco mm. Silva was, was relieved of his duties two years ago this week. Brands didn't want him to go. He wanted him still at the football club. And then what there's been, there's been a power struggle. And it's either been Benitez... Or it's been brands. And the owners looked in and thought, right, well, we've had eight managers in the last eight mm -hmm. years. We don't want nine managers in the last nine years and a new manager coming in going to want to try and spend money. So we've gone, he's gone with Benitez. But the problem you have is that the structure of modern day football now, in my opinion, demands a director of football mm -hmm. because it's too much for a manager to take on. So... Yes, Benitez now has got more power, but he's also got more pressure. Correct. Is, will this be an attractive position, director of football, with this roster and with Rafa mm -hmm. Benitez as the manager? Well, Paul, you have to, you have to remember, when you look at Arsenal. They've gotten rid of yeah. all of that. They've just basically said, Mikel Arteta and, and Edu, you guys sort out. You deal with the super agents, get the players in you want. It may not. I agree with Danny. A director of football is needed. Mm -hmm. They may not use that system. They may just use... Benitez goes directly to Moshiri. He spends the money and gets the players. Look, here, here's the issue, and I agree with you that the pressure's on, on Benitez. They knew that there was going to be a massive protest from the fans today. I think they've used Marcel Brand as a scapegoat because he took all the blame. Get him out. That's fine. That will pacify the fans for a short period of time because guess what? If the results don't get better and there's no Marcel Brands, mm -hmm. where, does that, where does that pressure and that blame go? It goes on to the manager. So he needs to be careful. I, I think Brands had got to the point where he was like, I'm being the scapegoat here. Of course. You know, we, we saw it um, not, not so long ago, a recent home game. The fans turning on Brands mm -hmm. because he's the, he's the one constant over the recent season. So it's like, right, okay, well, let's, let, let's fire our negativity mm -hmm. and, and our frustration at him. But if you look at the last two managers, Benitez wants to do things his own way. Ancelotti wants to do things his own way. So they've brought players is in, but the person that's always going to be laid with the blame because of the way that the club has been set up is the director of football, who to all intents and purposes, he's not been the director of football for a certain amount of time now. Just, just some clarity on something that's been mentioned here a couple of times and something that might happen in this first half. Uh, next May will mark the 27-year mark since Everton last won a major trophy. There have been rumblings, as Stephen and Tyler talked about, as well, I'm sorry, Stephen and Martin talked about, and these two have, have, has as well. Everton fans planning a walkout in the 27th minutes of today's match, so we shall see if that does indeed happen. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.